All State Fullerton students gathered in the quad for free pizza and to voice their concerns to top student leaders and school officials. There was a wide range of questions asked, but one of the top concerns for students here at Cal State Fullerton was the scheduling, availability, and quality of classes. One student planned to voice her concern about the lack of a religion master's program here on campus while more expensive private colleges offer the program. My English, I'm a double major, the English department has a master's program, the religious, religion department doesn't. I'd like to know why and if that can be changed because quite frankly the next closest uh, master's program is out at Claremont and that's way more expensive than it is here and this is in the heart of where it's happening. Why go way out into the sticks when I can stay here and be in the part, in the heart of the religious communities and studying. CSU trustee Craig Smith from Cal State Long Beach and President Gordon responded that as a public university, they must remain non-specific to any one religion. Yeah, it's not that they're religious specific, but for example, at Cal State Long Beach, we have a religious studies department and it just moved up to an MA program. Um, I think you have to reach critical mass in order to do that. And, and when you do and you have the enrollments, uh, then you can offer an MA program. It's, 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 it's not a problem as long as it's not advocating for any single religion. Um, we're a public institution, so we have to treat all religions, uh, if you ask about religious studies, equally. And so uh, we do have a program here that um, uh, relates to a number of different religions. Tom Beeman, a linguistics graduate student, was concerned with the lack of a linguistic faculty and sought solutions for delayed graduations due to scheduling conflicts and shortage of classes. President Gordon stated that Cal State Fullerton is working to resolve this issue by hiring 100 new faculty each year to help students graduate on time. Trustee Smith added that the CSU system now has $1,000 more per student than it has before. President Gordon believes that in the increased faculty size and funding will eventually solve the problem. But in the meantime, students should work with academic affairs to seek ways to get classes and expedite graduation. Tom Beeman also asked about the whistleblowing laws and questioned the importance of the student evaluations of the faculty. Well, you know, the, the, the state has very strong whistleblower protection laws uh, which have gone into effect and the Board of Trustees has endorsed those and the Chancellor's Office has translated them into policy that needs to be uh, followed on the campus. The only cautionary thing I would say is simply because someone makes an allegation doesn't mean it's true. Remember people are innocent until proven guilty but once they are uh, whistleblowers are certainly protected on the campus and we've had a number of suits where um, they have been protected and, and, and have been remunerated uh, for what they've done. President Gordon stressed the importance of taking the evaluation seriously, while Trustee Smith shared an example of how the evaluations prompted real change at his campus. Let me give you an example of how it can really work. Um, when I took over three years ago, the film department at, at Cal State Long Beach, their faculty had some of the lowest ratings uh, in the College of the Arts. Um, I used those evaluations uh, to turn over some of our part-time lecturers, some of our lecturers, uh, some of our assistant professors were asked to leave based on those evaluations. We now have the highest evaluations in the College of the Arts based on student evaluations, and I'm very proud of that. And I think that you'll find that across the CSU, these things are taken very, very seriously. ASI President Heather Williams also stressed the importance of student evaluations and their role in our university. Our professors worry about how we grade them at the end of the semester and so it is really important to fill out your student evaluations and take time and really provide the comments and the feedback to allow them to really understand where you're coming from and what your concerns are or um, what you do enjoy about your professor. So I know a lot of students just quickly fill them out or don't even bother but they are really important and I urge everyone to fill them out. Well, I wanted to mainly address the issue, the problem with not getting classes on time or having classes not offered during intercession. I think that's a major concern of a lot of students. And were, was your question answered? It was, and President Gordon mentioned some resolutions that can be done, such as hiring faculty or the possibility of waiving the fees for one or two semesters if I'm not able to get classes. This year's Pizza with the Presidents was a great way to not only get answers to important questions, but also to get a sense of what other students are thinking and feeling. The successful event leaves both the presidents and the students awaiting the next pizza with the presidents. We were here to see what the students had on their mind and to respond. I think it's an excellent forum. 
uh, to have um, the opportunity to interact with the president. And we were fortunate today to have a trustee. And uh, I think uh, what we wanted to accomplish was, was accomplished. Yeah, I think this is one of the finest uh, communication tools we have with students. Reporting from the Cal State Fullerton Quad, I'm Megan Affleck for On the Edge.